Hey everyone, a very warm welcome to all of you. So today I'm back with the another interview question. So in front of you, there's a table called jobs and uh, in this table we have three columns, work name, percentage, expenditure. And the purpose for today is we have to remove these null values. Okay, so we want to replace these null values in the column values. Okay, so let me show you the output, expected output, what we want. So as you can see, these are the values and we don't have any null value in this table. Okay, so we want to remove these null values with the column values. Okay, so I want minor irrigation tank on first four rows and feeder channel in the last four rows. Okay, so there are total eight rows in this table. Okay, so let's let me take you to the SQL server. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to compare these values from the column itself and uh, we will check if there is what is the previous value and according to that we'll go further okay so first of all we will uh, extract the values in the work name column okay so this is the work name column now we're gonna use the leg like function and in the leg like function what we'll do is leg like function will check the first row first row's previous value okay so there is no previous value before the first row so it will be null and it will check for the second row's first value then it will be the minor ag aggregation tank okay and it will check for the third row it will be then second value would be null okay so it will work like this so leg work name over clause over clause is mandatory and uh, we're not going to use any partitions here and uh, we're not gonna do any sorting here so but we'll do use order by and we'll use null all right so let's run this so the by default behavior is by default one if we'll put one here it will work as it is okay so let me run it for you again okay so basically this is the offset value if we'll give the one offset value it will check for one row and if we'll give the two offset value so it will check for two rows okay so now what we're gonna do here is as you can see there is going to be become a pattern here okay so first value is not not null second value is not null now we're gonna use again led like function and we will create another column with the third not null value okay so now we're gonna create another like function another column with the help of like function and we will generate one more column with the third not null value okay so let's copy oh, this whole statement and now we're going to increase our offset value by this two okay it will check for two rows okay so now you can see the irrigation task is here it and the feeder channel is here okay so one two three okay we have three values who are not null okay so now one last time we're going to use again like function here okay it's a trick basically you can use it sql is all about tricks all right so as you can see what our job is we have eight rows okay we want half minor irrigation task and half feeder channel one two three four one two three four our job is done now what we're gonna do here we will going to merge all four columns into a single column okay so how can we do this let me do it for you so have you heard about the coalesce function the coalesce function is basically a function it will pick a non-null values from the following columns okay c o e l e c e okay so let's do it okay as work name all right boom so this is the column we have okay so earlier it was like this jobs okay so earlier it was like this so with the help of like function and by the increasing the offset values we have generated this output okay so now what we want we want other columns as well percentage and expenditure so we will add these column person days and expenditure okay so this is the output we have okay so let's compare both the tables and we have same output eight 
rows, eight rows. All right. So that's how we can generate this output. And uh, if you have better solution than this, so please share it with me. I would be more happy to see your logics. And uh, thank you so much, guys, for your time. And please like my video and uh, subscribe my channel. And thank you so much for your time.